Okay, for spelling, I'm gonna show you something that I've done that I've been pretty successful with, or I should say my kids have been successful with. You can give them a spelling list. I would think about the variations in the code or some of the overlap. Of course, if you're in pink or blue, you're going to start with those CVC type words, the adjacent consonants, and then move along. So if you see my list, boat, tow, hope, go, those are all the sounds of O. So I'm gonna have them first. I'm gonna tell them, hey, your spelling words this week all have the sound of O. So let's, let's read this first word. So I want, they'll have their own list and they would say B O T. Okay, well that's, show me one way to spell it. And I would have them underline it, highlight it, whatever. And then I would have them go over and record on a discovery mapping, <coughs> excuse me, discovery mapping sheet. So they're gonna write the pattern that they just discovered that says O. Oh. And then they're going to write the word B and make them sure they have those voices on. B, O, T, boat. Okay, so I did one of the words on my list. I'm gonna have them go to the next. I want them to look at toe. Let's look at this. T o, remember all these words have O sound. T O, is this O the same as the other? No, we're gonna have to start a new column. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna write the O-E and then they're going to write the word T-O. Again, it gives them more practice with segmenting, <coughs> thinking about those variations in the code for the spelling of O. They're gonna go back to their list. This one, we kinda of like to put a little smile there to show that they're friends and even if they're apart by a consonant, they're still happy because they're close to one another. So the word is hope, hope. So I'm gonna go over and I'm going to write my O consonant. I always tell them that little dash is consonant, E. And then they're going to map it. O. And I wanna keep my voice on so they realize those aren't gonna be happy until they're hooked together. And then if you look the next word on my list, do you see this? Let's sound it out, g O. Do you see this spelling of O anywhere? Oh, gotta start a new column. So we're going to put one here. The word is g O, go. So I want them to map it, keeping their voices on. G O, go. So now they've mapped. This might be the very first, this is what I like to do the first day. We're just kind of discovering our spelling words and all the different ways for today of spelling O. So then what I would do tomorrow for my lesson is I'm really trying to hit the segmenting hard. So these little tiles, those are in your copyables and we make them on the harder paper just um, and keep stacks of them around. You're gonna use them a lot in your practice. So I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna dictate a word. First, we're gonna review. We're gonna go through our list. We're gonna sound them out. And then I'm gonna have them build their own words. And so the first word I want them to build is boat. And let's see, how many sounds do you hear in boat? B Oh, so that gives me those placeholders like we've been doing with the numbered boards. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to write voice on B, O, T, boat. So then I'm gonna have them take these, they're gonna paper clip them together. They have a baggie that they use all year and we label them with what the sound picture of the week or two weeks is. And these they're gonna take home and this is the way they're gonna practice with their families. So this would be a great online activity. You're just gonna to have to make sure they get these copyables. So my next word is toe. Let's sound out toe. T o, ah, I only need two. O, toe, hmm, 
So there's another way to spell O, but see how I'm getting practice with that segmentation? I'm gonna look at my next word, O. And I do have to put an extra E there because we have that, the old silent E rule. I really wish phonographics would do this as the P. Maybe I'll suggest it someday. Anyway, let's segment. <sighs> oh. And they have to kind of stretch out sounds too, unless you have those tiles ready. Hope. I'm gonna go fast so this doesn't go on. So the next word is g o oh, go g o. Oh. So now I'm going to map it g o, oh. and there I have yet again another word with the o sound. We'll paper clip these together. They'll go home in a baggie and they can practice, or actually they'll be at home with a baggie. Okay, hope that helps.